curious about the USDA Food Guide Pyramid, which has been revamped to be um, Choose My Plate. And so I was like, you know, I'll kind of play with that in the morning and see how different foods compare and stack up against one another. And I had a few interesting discoveries. Um, one, total sugars allowed does not have a daily target or limit. Um, actually, they're wrong in this perspective. Uh, upon doing my own further research ago, um, women are not supposed to have more than six teaspoons of added sugar, and men should not exceed more than nine teaspoons of added sugar. So for them to say that there's no daily target or limit is... I don't know how to put this delicately. It's crap. Um, they also have no daily target or limit for omega-3 EPA or omega-3 DHA. But I know from both my pregnancies and talking to people in the medical community that you really should have between 700 and 1,000 milligrams of EPA and two to 500 milligrams of DHA daily. So for them, again, to say that there's no daily target or limit is not being very um, transparent. It's not, it's not true. Um, and one of the foods that I typed in that, I, that kind of blew my mind with how nutrient dense it was, but by the USDA standards would be exceeding your limit of protein was salmon. Um, it's exceeded the protein limit by almost 70%. So you know, if you're really going by that to judge how healthy you are and how of a well-rounded diet you're eating, you're not going to be eating something like salmon, and you really should be because even though it exceeds your protein limit, it also supplies you with um, your daily recommendations, if not exceeding your daily recommendations, for niacin, vitamin D, B12, selenium, phosphorus, and it supplies you with over a thousand milligrams of EPA and over 2,000 milligrams of DHA. So this is a superfood, you know, it's, it's highly, it's very, very nutritious, nutritious, and you should be including things like this in your diet. You know, another one that I thought was really interesting was avocados. If you type avocado into that diet plan, it's at 84% of your vegetables. And it's kind of like, well, I hope you enjoy that avocado because you can't have any more vegetables today, even though they're super nutrient dense. So, you know, just a little food for thought for this sun, for this beautiful Sunday. Um, thank you guys so much for your positive feedback yesterday, and I hope you all have a blessed day.